humans have been naming organisms since a very long time and they have been trying to organize these life forms into understandable categories. A variety of systems have been developed at various points of time with various drawbacks and benefits. Biological classification is a system used to organize and codify all life on earth. This classification system is extremely important in precise description of organisms. Creating a system of classification allows scientists to examine the relationships between various organisms and to construct evolutionary trees to explore the origin of life on earth and the relationship of modern organisms with primitive organisms. Hello students, I welcome you all to today's lesson which is about the different classification systems. Classification to bhaav hai, ikko jehe objects nu samman samu vich rakhna. Kuch log honge jo tu aade dos honge. Tu se kuch niji karna karke ina nu ik samu vich rakhya hovega. So e kam tu si apne bachpan to hi karde a rahe ho. Isse tarahi sa jiva nu bhi kai tarikya naal classify kita janda hai. पर की तुसी में नू दस सकते हो कि ए क्लासिफिकेशन है कि क्लासिफिकेशन इस ग्रुपिंग थिंग्स टुगेदर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फीचर्स दे हैव इन कॉमन तुसी टेक्सोनोमी बारे पढ़िया है टेक्सोनोमी इस द साइंस ऑफ ग्रुपिंग और ऑर्गेनाइजिंग और गैनिज्म्स टेक्सोनोमी द एक भाग क्लासिफिकेशन है बायोलॉ कैरोलस लीनियस दी खोज दे आधारित है। सिस्टमैटिक क्लासिफिकेशन विच कैरोलस लीनियस इकले अजी ही डोमिनेंट फिगर हन जेडे 32 साल दी उम्र विच बॉटनी दिया 14 किताबा लिख चुके सन। उन दिया दो प्रसिद्ध किताबा जेनेरा प्लांटेरम अति स्पीशीज प्लांटेरम हन जिस विच उन ने बहुत सारे पौधियां नू नाम देता सी अति क्लासिफाई किता सी over the years, many models for classifying organisms have been developed. The organisms have been classified from different point of view at different times. Three main schemes of classification emerged one after another. These were artificial system, natural system and phylogenetic system. Artificial system is an arrangement based on one or few superficial characters and not expressing the true natural or evolutionary relationship. It gives only a little information about the groups. This system was introduced by Aristotle. Natural system of classification is based on the number of characters and hence gives more or detailed information about the groups. This system provides a clear view on the evolutionary relationship between different groups of living organisms. Hence, it is more systematic system of classification than artificial system. This system was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus. The third system is phylogenetic system of classification. Phylogenetic classification is concerned with grouping individual species on the basis of evolutionary interrelationship. It was introduced by Engler and Prantl. In today's topic, we will study two and five kingdom systems of classification. Let's study them. Kingdom is the largest group in a classification system. It encompasses all the related species. Taxonomic studies have led to the development of a system of classification in which all life forms are divided into several kingdoms. These kingdoms are further divided into phyla, classes, orders, families, genera and species. Carolus Linnaeus placed all the living organisms in two major kingdoms, Kingdom Plantae for plants and Kingdom Animalia for animals. 
This classification was quite reasonable at that period of time since plants and animals could be distinguished very clearly. Plants are stationary, fixed to the soil, absorb water for growth and prepare their own food. Animals, on the other hand, are capable of locomotion and feed on plants and other animals for their growth and survival. Apart from this, a few other significant differences, particularly at the level of cells, were established between plants and animals. Let us have a look at the two kingdom system. Two kingdom system of classification. Linear's model classified everything as either a plant or an animal. Hence, these two kingdoms are known as Kingdom Plantae, Kingdom Animalia. These two kingdoms were sufficient for that era. However, even Linus's followers struggled with the classification of fungi. Now let us check these two kingdoms one by one. All plants are included in one kingdom known as Kingdom Plantae which is further divided into smaller and smaller divisions based on several characteristics. These characters include their body organization and their method of reproduction. The plantae includes all land plants, mosses, ferns, conifers, flowering plants. Originally, the plant kingdom also included bacteria, diatoms, dinoflagellates, fungi and slime molds, but these are not now thought of as plants. This system of classification is the oldest. All of plant species have some peculiar characteristic features. Now we will quickly check out some characteristic features of the plants. Kingdom Plantae Plants exhibit a great deal of variation in their form and size. Plant body is usually asymmetrical. However, in higher plants, structures like leaves and flowers have a definite form and shape. Plants are mostly rooted and as such are incapable of locomotion. However, certain localized movements may occur in a plant body. Plants are multicellular organisms made up of eukaryotic cells as they have membrane-bound nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles as shown here in the visual. The plant's cells have a cell wall. The plant cell wall is made up of cellulose. The most important and striking feature of plants is the presence of chloroplast. Chloroplast are the sites where photosynthesis occurs. Chloroplasts are double membrane bound organelles that contain chlorophyll. Plants use chlorophyll to capture light energy which helps in the manufacture of food in the form of sugar, starch and other carbohydrates. Most plants make their own food by photosynthesis. Plants exhibit unlimited growth almost throughout their lifespan. Botanists have classified plants into an orderly ranked system based on similarities and differences among the various plants. Plant kingdom is divided into two sub-kingdoms, cryptogamy and phenerogamy as shown here in the visual. Cryptogams are non-flowering and non-seed-bearing plants, while phenerogams are flowering and seed-bearing plants. Next kingdom is Animal Kingdom or Kingdom Animalia. With nearly 1.2 million species, Kingdom Animalia is the largest of the kingdoms in terms of its species diversity while mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians and fish 
are the most familiar to us, over half of all the animal species belong to a group of animals known as arthropods. Arthropods include animals such as centipedes, crabs, insects and spiders. The kingdom Animalia includes humans and all animals so that they can seek out food. Specialized sense organs allow them to detect changes in their surroundings. Let us check this kingdom in brief. Kingdom Animalia Animal kingdom as proposed by Linnaeus included protozoans, sponges, jellyfishes, worms, crabs, insects, spiders, snails, starfishes, sharks, bony fishes, frogs, lizards, birds and mammals. The animal kingdom is the kingdom most familiar to us. So, what exactly is an animal? With so much diversity among different animal species, it's difficult to imagine what they all might have in common. Firstly, animals are multicellular, means composed of many cells. Generally, the body of animals exhibits a definite symmetry, form and shape. Animals have the capacity to move from place to place in search of their necessities. Growth in animals is determined and occurs proportionately in all parts of the body. All animals are heterotrophs, meaning they depend on other organisms such as plants, fungi and other animals for their food. Animal cells are eukaryotic, means the genetic material is contained within a distinct nucleus and lacks a cell wall. Members of the animal kingdom are divided into two major groups, invertebrates and vertebrates. Invertebrates are animals without a vertebral column and vertebrates are animals with a vertebral column. Students, is tarah, Carolus Linnaeus ne, jo do kingdoms bare dasya si, us bare tu se jankari praapt kar lehi hai. Is two kingdom classification nu, biologist ne manata diti, ate lambe samay tak, e classification varto vich rahi. Jivi jive podya ate janvara bare, hor jankari mildi rahi, ta classification da e system, kuch kamiya karke adhura lagan lag paya. Aohun two kingdom classification system diya kamiya bare jan de haan. Shortcomings of two kingdom classification In this system of classification, there is no clear-cut distinction in the lower forms of life into plants and animals. For example, Euglena, which is a unicellular organism, has certain features of animals and certain features of plants. Euglena has a flagellum which is used for locomotion and capturing food, while it has chloroplasts which help in the manufacture of food just as plants do. Another example is Chlamydomonas, which is a unicellular algae. It is purely autotrophic but has flagella for locomotion like protozoans. Therefore, we can say that such organisms resemble animals in one aspect and plants in the other. Sponges are sessile, irregular animals which appear like plants. There are organisms like diatoms which are plants and animals like paramecium that are protozoans share a number of common characteristics and basic organization. Fungi differ from plants in several features. Fungi do not have chlorophyll and are therefore saprotrophic in nature. Lichens are not given an appropriate place in these kingdoms. It represents an example of symbiotic relationship between algae and fungi. 
ਇਨਾ ਕਮੀਆਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਵਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੋਈ ਅਰਨੈਸਟ ਹੈਕਲ ਨੇ 1866 ਵਿੱਚ 3 ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਸੁਝਾਅ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ 4 ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਤੇ ਫਿਰ 5 ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਹੋਂਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਇਆ ਵਰਤਮਾਨ ਸਮੇਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਰੇ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਅਤੇ ਐਕਸਟਿੰਕਟ ਆਰਗੈਨਿਜ਼ਮਸ ਨੂੰ 5 ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਾਈ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਹਾਲਾਂਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਾਇੰਟਿਸਟ ਬੇਸ਼ੱਕ ਮੰਨਦੇ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਸਾਰੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਰ ਐਚ ਵਿਟਾਕਰ ਐਨ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਇਕੋਲੋਜਿਸਟ ਮੇਡ ਐਨ ਅਟੈਂਪਟ ਟੂ ਸੋਲਵ ਦੀ ਟੈਕਸੋਨੋਮਿਕ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਹਾਫ ਆਫ 20th ਸੈਂਚਰੀ ਹੀ ਪ੍ਰਪੋਜ਼ਡ 5 ਕਿੰਗਡਮ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਆਫ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਈਅਰ 1969 to show the relationship between the organisms vitaker has based his scheme of classification on four factors such as complexity of cell structure in this type classification is done on the basis of presence of two types of cells which are recognized as simple primitive prokaryotic cell and complex advanced eukaryotic cell complexity of organism's body in this type classification is done on the basis of unicellular and multicellular organization of the living organisms mode of nutrition two main modes of nutrition are recognized in living organisms autotrophic and heterotrophic these two types are further classified in different types On the basis of these types Vitaker has based his scheme of classification phylogenetic relationship phylogeny is the evolutionary history of an organism this evolutionary history of an organism can provide a clue about the relationship between the organisms the advantage of five kingdom classification system is that there is far less overlap and confusion as compared to original two kingdom classification system as proposed originally by Linnaeus Vitaker classified the living organisms into five kingdoms namely kingdom monera kingdom protista kingdom fungi kingdom planti and kingdom animalia if we look at this five kingdom system of classification monera represent the earliest group of organisms you know monera are thought to have given rise to protista from protista the other three kingdoms namely fungi plantae and animalia evolved as shown here in the visual monera includes prokaryotes like eubacteria and archaebacteria examples of kingdom monera are bacteria and blue green algae kingdom protista include unicellular organisms as i said earlier the other three kingdoms evolved from this kingdom protista they are fungi plantae and animalia स्टूडेंट्स क्लासिफिकेशन दे 5 किंगडम सिस्टम बारे आर एच विटाकर ने दसया सी तुसी इना पंच किंगडम्स पाव मोनेरा प्रोटिस्टा फंजाय प्लांटी अते एनिमेलिया बारे थोड़ी जानकारी प्राप्त कर ली है हुन असी इना नु डिटेल विच पढांगे लेट अस स्टार्ट विद किंगडम मोनेरा किंगडम मोनेरा द मोनेरेंस are most numerous and widespread organisms on earth kingdom monera includes eubacteria and archaebacteria these organisms are prokaryotic prokaryotic organisms you know have neither a true nucleus nor membrane bound organelles in their cytoplasm and possess a single chromosome and small ribosomes as you already know bacteria are found everywhere they come in a vast array of shapes and sizes take a look at the different shapes 
and sizes of bacteria. But remember, these bacteria are extremely small, rather submicroscopic. The four basic shapes are cocci, which are spherical, bacillus means rod shaped, spiralum means spiral, and vibrio, which are comma shaped bacteria. Spherical forms are micrococci, diplococci, staphylococci, and streptococci, as shown here in the visual. Bacillus means rod shaped bacteria, also shown here. Also, you can see here the spiral, cocci, and vibrio forms of bacteria. Eubacteria are true bacteria which form majority of the 10,000 species in the Monerin group. Archaebacteria are the ancient bacteria. Being the minority group of Monerin, they are only found in extreme environments such as swamps, salt lakes and deep ocean hydrothermal vents. मुनेरा तो बाद असी प्रतिष्ठा बारे जानकारी प्राप्त कर दे हाँ असी ये वेखांगे कि ए बाकी चार किंगडम्स तो किस तरह वखरा है लेट अस चेक दिस आउट किंगडम प्रोटिस्टा किंगडम प्रोटिस्टा इज वन ऑफ द कॉमनली रिकॉग्नाइज्ड बायोलॉजिकल किंगडम्स इंक्लूडिंग यूनिसेल्युलर यूकैरियोट्स आई होप यू रिमेंबर दैट यूकैरियोट्स are organisms with their cells having a well-defined nucleus. They are unicellular, colonial eukaryotes. The unicellular organisms possess nucleus having nuclear membrane and mitochondria in their cytoplasm. Flagellum or cilia help in locomotion in protists. These vary in number, size and position. Important members of this group are Euglena, Paranema, Astacia, Trachylomonas, etc. The kingdom Protista is divided into five major groups Chrysophytes, Dinoflagellates, Euglenoids, Slime Molds, Protozoans. Students, this was the brief description about Kingdom Protista. Kingdom Protista which kai important organisms jive plankton aunde han jo food chain da important component han. After Kingdom Protista, we will now study the third kingdom which is known as fungi. So let us discuss some important features of the kingdom. Kingdom Fungi of all the five major kingdoms of living organisms on earth, the fungi certainly contain some of the most bizarre and fascinating species. More than 70,000 species of fungi have been described. These fungi live everywhere in the air, water, on land, soil and in and on plants and animals. As far as their size is concerned, some are microscopic and others are big, such as mushrooms. An important and interesting thing here is that they come in an astonishing variety of shapes, colors and sizes, from brilliant red cups and orange jelly-like masses to strange fungi resembling golf balls, bird nests with eggs and starfish. As I told you earlier, fungi come in a wide variety of sizes and forms and many have great economic importance. Many medicines are produced from fungi. The most notable antibiotic, penicillin, is obtained from penicillium. Tiny one-celled saccharomyces means yeasts are important for baking breads and fermenting wines, beers and vinegars. Mushroom is the common fungi used for eating purpose. The appearance of fungi resembles plants. They lack chlorophyll 
and hence are not capable of performing photosynthesis. The living body of the fungus is a mycelium made out of a web of tiny filaments called hyphae. The mycelium is usually hidden in the substratum such as soil, wood or other food items. Mycology is the study of fungi and mycologists are the scientists who study fungi. So students, these were the three kingdoms of five kingdom system of classification. We have already studied briefly about the plant and animal kingdom. I hope now you are familiar with all these five kingdoms. It must have given you ample knowledge about the characteristic features of these kingdoms. Also, I can expect that you can now easily identify which particular organism belongs to which kingdom. So students, this was about the two and five kingdom systems of classification and with this we conclude our today's lesson. Here is what we have learned from this unit. Linnaeus placed living organisms into two kingdoms, Planty and Animalia. Five kingdom system of classification is proposed by R.H. Whittaker in the year 1969. Whittaker classified the living organisms into five kingdoms, namely Kingdom Monera, Protista, Fungi, Planty and Animalia. Kingdom Monera includes prokaryotes like eubacteria and archaebacteria. As you know, fungi mostly include the multicellular organisms. They have a cell wall and organelles like nucleus. They don't have chloroplasts. Mycology is the study of fungi and mycologists are the scientists who study fungi. Plants are multicellular organisms made up of eukaryotic cells the most striking and important feature of plants is the presence of chloroplast. All animals are heterotrophs, meaning that they must get their food by eating other organisms such as plants, fungi and other animals. So students, enough for today. Let's quickly check with some short questions what you have grabbed today. Be attentive, here are some questions. Question. Define classification. Answer. Classification is grouping things together on the basis of features they have in common. Question. What is the function of classification system? Answer. The main function of a classification system is to allow biologists to group organisms according to similar characteristics. This classification helps biologists to study living organisms and to describe them. Question. Name the five kingdoms proposed by Vitakar. The answer is Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protista, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Planty, and Kingdom Animalia. Next question. Explain the advantages of the five kingdom system of classification. Answer. The advantage of the five kingdom classification system is that there is far less overlap and confusion as compared to the original two kingdom classification system as proposed originally by Linnaeus. Question. In which kingdom will you find the organism Euglena? The answer is Protista. Question. Name two important fungi. The answer is Penicillium and Saccharomyces. Next question. Name the two sub kingdoms of plant kingdom. Answer. Cryptogamy and Phanerogamy. Question. Name the two groups in which animal kingdom is divided. The answer is invertebrates and vertebrates. Hope I have made a successful attempt to clear your concepts regarding two and five kingdom system of classification which will help you in fetching good marks in the exam. Thanks for your cooperation and attention. Looking forward to see you next time. Thank you.